Giovanni. singing that aria because it's what we call an opera park and bark <laughs> park and bark <laughs> full of passion now when, when when i was miss california i visited about a hundred different schools and i visited everything from you know your wealthiest schools in san diego to schools that i in towns i'd never even heard of and i, I was miss california i should know <laughs> Your passion reflects in everything you do. And when I would go to some schools, even the wealthy schools, if the principal was not excited about his kids, I could see it in how they reacted when I spoke to them. They, they would shuffle around, they wouldn't listen, they would be bored. But when the principal greeted me and said, oh, these kids are great, I can't wait for you to meet them, you could actually see it in the kids. Even, even from the top down, that passion spread. So I visited one school in Visalia. Does anyone know Visalia? Yeah. Oh, good. Beautiful town. Well, I visit, it was right outside of Visalia. We, we had to drive through a bunch of dirt, uh, dirt roads to go there. Now, I was a little bit afraid, because usually when I would go to schools uh, right in the middle of nowhere, they had no idea of anything of Miss America or Miss California. So they would have no reason whatsoever why they should listen to me. <laughs> but when I came to this school, the principal was fired up. These were all children of farm workers, and usually when I would go to poorer schools, it would be hard because the kids wouldn't have a, a large attention span and they would, it would always be about discipline. But when I visited this school, the principal was a former student of the junior high, and he had come back and he had completely turned around the school. He named all of the buildings after universities, nice. Harvard, Brown, Berkeley. It was fantastic. So where's your math class? Oh, it's in Berkeley. <laughs> <laughs>
I gave my talk in the library, and you know, it's a library, you know, the walls are usually bare or they have books on them. The walls here were littered with pictures and, uh, what do you call it, the flags from different schools, and they each had their own section. Like there was the Ivy League section, there was the Northwestern section, there was the Northern California and the Southern California section. It's fantastic. And I could see it in these kids' faces, the energy and passion that they had for life. They were alert, they were responsive, they were the best kids I had. And he even had former students coming back and teaching. So it was that passion that he had for those kids, where otherwise anyone would have given up. And that just melted down, and those kids are incredibly successful now. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> all right. You might wonder how I got into pageants. Um, why does anyone join a pageant? <laughs> why does it, did you all watch Miss America growing up? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh good. Me too. A lot of kids now don't don't know about it. They just know about Miss USA and they laugh about it. You know when she falls. But when we watched, <laughs> when, when 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 I watched Miss America, they, these were doctors and they were playing the cello like a like a professional. These were people changing state legislator. And I said, I want to be like that when I grow up. That's my measuring stick. It also helped that my mother was Miss Fresno County 19 or <laughs> She kind of pushed me into, uh, no, she didn't push me. She gently said, you might want to try this when you're older. I wasn't one of those kids growing up doing pageants with the crowns bigger than they are and the fake teeth. No. Uh, <laughs> and people ask me, now, how hard is it to do a pageant? I mean, it must be so hard to smile all the time with Vaseline on your teeth and, and wear pretty dresses. It's so hard. <laughs> it's actually the hardest thing that I've ever done besides opera. <laughs> Not the, the prancing around in gowns or anything. But actually, this challenges you to become the best absolute version of yourself. Yes, the pageant is based, about 30% of your score is based on evening gown and swimsuit. And I'll talk about that later. But 70% of it is actually based on talent and mostly interview. And that part you don't see. You walk into a room, maybe about half this size, and you stand behind a crystal glass platform. And there are the six judges sitting in front of you. And they have your paperwork in front of you. They have a, a written statement on your community service and your accomplishments. And then they just start to fire off questions to you. Chris Matthews, does anyone watch Hardball? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He was my judge at Miss America. <laughs> oh, Lord. First question out of his mouth. What does Santiago Chile mean? Uh, uh, Saint, Saint, yeah, Santiago, next. Uh, is President Bush smart enough to run this country? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes, no, that's why you have a team of people working for you. Terrifying, but these skills that you learn help you in, if you just use it in a, in a job interview, or they help you go off and give national speaking tours. But I fully stand behind this organization, the Miss America organization, because it provides scholarships for women and it trains them to be not only ladies, but active members of society. Now the swimsuit competition. Yes, it's controversial, and if I had my druthers, I wouldn't do it. But, okay, what's the biggest nightmare? <laughs> Besides having your teeth out, what's the biggest nightmare? <laughs> Standing in front of everyone in your birthday suit, right? Yeah. <laughs> what do you do in the swimsuit competition? Pretty much that. Almost just that. What the judges are looking for is how confident you can walk onto that stage in front of thousands, if not millions of people, and say, yep, this is me. Don't look at my figure, look at my face. Look at my confidence that I'm shining out. Because I can guarantee you, as Miss California, as Miss America, you walk into rooms, you walk into situations where you are terrified. You have no idea what you're doing there, but you still have to stand there with confidence. So the judges are judging if this woman can come out in the most uncomfortable situation in her life and still look comfortable. Ah, that's a lady we know we can count on. Okay? Interesting. Yeah. That's one scary situation. Um, <laughs> 